A coffin is carried out of a Rohingya camp on the edge of Sitwe in northwest Myanmar. Another victim of Cyclone Mokka that's reported to have killed hundreds of people when it hit on Sunday night. In the light of day, the full devastation caused by the storm is clear. Flimsy structures that are home to hundreds of thousands of ethnic Rohingya, displaced by Myanmar's military, no match for winds in excess of 200 kilometers per hour. There were many people who got wounded due to the storm, even around this place. Some got wounds in legs and hands. Many died. When the storm got stronger, I ran away from this place with my children as I did not want to die. But we sank in the water and people saved us by pulling us out. The tropical cyclone left widespread damage in its wake. Fishing boats, a vital part of the economy, piled up like fresh tinder along the coast. Many buildings with more sturdy structures, now without roofs, windows or doors. The area has been cut off since Sunday with roads blocked and communications down. People here told Al Jazeera there's very little aid relief and medical services have stopped. Myanmar State TV showed senior general Min Ong Lai inspecting damage in the area on Monday. Official sources had said only three people died in the storm. That number is likely to rise sharply as communication lines are restored. In neighboring Bangladesh, where more than one million Rohingya refugees live in camps, repairs are already underway. It's a huge strain on people with such limited resources, although many feared it could have been worse. And it's a devastating blow both for those displaced and those who remained at home.